Anybody who trades stocks or futures or forex has heard of WD GAN, and they've probably heard of the GAN wheel too. But people don't know how the numbers on the GAN wheel relate to each other. And this is an image of a GAN wheel. And what a GAN wheel is, it's really a, a, a rectangular table of numbers with 0 or 1 starting at the center, although I always start with 1, and the numbers increment in a clockwise direction, expanding uh, row by row until they fill the sheet. You can build this number uh, table to any size you want, based entirely on the limitations of your spreadsheet or, or the piece of paper that you're using. But the question is, how do these numbers relate to each other, or the positions of the numbers relate to each other, and how does a rectangle get to be called a wheel uh, anyway? We can learn maybe some of that by looking at an excerpt of the center of the GAN wheel. And starting at 1 at the center, we can see that the numbers increment in a clockwise dimension, uh, changing levels as the numbers increase. And to figure that out, we'll look at the number 15 and relate it to the number 34, which is in the same quadrant, same location, but one level higher. And what we'll do is we'll take the square root of 15, which is 3.87, we'll add 2 to the square root of 15, square that number, which results in 34.49, rounded down to the nearest integer is 34. So now we can see how the number 34, or the position of the number 34, relates to the position of number 15. And we can do the same thing by subtracting, or I'm sorry, by adding 1 to the square root of 15, producing 4.87, squaring that, and we get 23 rounded down to the nearest integer and we can see that 23 is on the same level as 15 but on the opposite quadrant. And finally if we add 0.5 to the square root of 15 and square that number uh, we get 19 rounded down to the nearest integer. And we can see that 19 is on the same level but if we draw a line from 15 to the center of the table and then out to the number 19, we can see that it forms a 90 degree angle. And that gives us a clue. We know that numbers, the positions of the numbers on the GAN wheel or the square 9 table relate to each other by square roots. And we know that the square root factors relate to each other in degrees. When we added 0.5 to 15, we got 19, which is 90 degrees, uh, an angular dimension from 15. When we added 1 to the square root, we got 23, which is on the same level but in the opposite quadrant, 180 degrees removed. And when we added 2 to the square root, we got 360 degrees, which is one complete rotation around to the same uh, section on the uh, GAN wheel. So now we can see that there is a mathematical logic to how the positions of the numbers on the GAN wheel relate to each other. It's not uh, strictly uh, random. Of course that doesn't tell you how to use the GAN wheel. That's much more uh, uh, complicated than, than what we went through. But hopefully it does give you an understanding of how uh, the numbers or the positions of the numbers do relate to each other. Uh, thank you.